All right. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to use three different images to combine into one image. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open the images from our Canvas site to go ahead and get um, them open in Photoshop. All right. So the first image is this Velociraptor, just like you see on my screen here. The next is what I have, Jungle Path. This is uh, just an image of a jungle that I found on the internet. And the, lastly is a football player, and it's a running back running away from a guy trying to tackle him. So today we're going to get a little bit more into how we select things. And I've got a few different things. So if you look, this is footballplayer.jpg. That means it's a JPEG image, okay? Jungle Path is junglepath.jpg. So it's also a JPEG image. These are both lossy images that means that they are structured the same way they're going to if you move them around they're going to have the same information the same size and they are very much stable in this size but if you try to make them bigger make them smaller they're going to lose data however this velociraptor the uh, detail dot header is a png a portable network graphic that means you can move it make it smaller you can make it bigger and it's going to keep the same detail also you'll notice it has this checkered background in photoshop that means there's no background. This is the only information in the image is this actual Velociraptor. So when I select it, just like this, I can do it one of two ways. I can use my rectangular selection tool and select the entire thing, or I can go Control A or Command A on the Mac to select all. Then what I want to do is I want to copy it or cut it either way. Just make sure that your layer is selected down here. You want to copy it. And we're going to go to Jungle Path. We're going to paste it. So you'll notice when I paste this in, it's got no background. So as long as it's in a layer above the background, it's going to, it's going to set as the background. Okay? If you go underneath the background, which I guess is don't need to lock it. Now you see it's still selected, and it's still there. It's just underneath the background. Okay, so I'm going to go back uh, and put it the right way. Now, here's what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to leave this here for now because what I'm going to show you is the next step of getting the, the whole puzzle put together. So if I want to do the same thing for the football player, watch what happens. i got to make sure my player is selected. I want to come here and select this. Command C. What? I wanted to cut him out, but now his background is showing up. So that's definitely not going to work, is it? So I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer, not worry about it. Okay, so we're going to have to come back in here, and we're going to have to select this a different way. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use the pen tool to select him right off the gate. The pen tool is a very powerful tool. We learned about it in Illustrator. Okay, so you can get real close in here, and you can just start drawing an outline around him with the pen tool. Okay, so I'm going to go, to go ahead and I'm going to draw this outline and I'll meet you back when I get done drawing the outline. All right, so we're back. Right now I've got this with a path all the way around it. So you'll notice that that's not a selection. So what I have to do now is with the pen tool still selected, come over here to the paths option in the layers panel, and you see my work path. And if you look really close down here, you'll see that it's kind of an outline of this football player. So what I want to do is come down from the work path, and we're here in the paths tab of the layers panel. We're going to click on this, and this is the make outline or load path as a selection. Okay, now you'll see that it's selected like a like it's a selection that we can use in anything. So what I want to do now is Command or Control C. Okay, that's going to copy it, and then when I come over here, I'm going to paste it, and you'll notice that it's automatically pasted into here without a background. That's because this is the only piece of that that was selected. The next thing you want to do is hit Control T or Command T, and that's going to open your Transform panel. So another way you can do it 
is if you come into edit and transform. Uh, and then we go to scale. So that opens your transform, your scale. So if you hold down your alt key and your shift key at the same time and move it in, it's going to be proportionally correct. So now I can make it smaller and keep kind of as much property as I can. So now I've got three layers here. I've got my layer two, which I'm going to rename as football player. I've got my layer one, which I'm going to rename as raptor. And then you've got your background, which is just your jungle. Just so we'll know. And I misspelled jungle. Okay. Um, so that is the simple way to get these together. Now, if you're bad at the pen tool and you don't want to use the pen tool, there are some other ways to select this football player. One is going to be right here with the quick selection tool. So the quick selection tool, if you look on your screen, is going to be a selector that you can use the brackets to go in and out. You can come up here and you can click the size up and down. And if you just start holding down, you'll notice it has that plus in the middle. You start holding down, it's going to select until it hits a barrier of layer information. So it's going to try to distinguish the best it can when colors change. So it can get tricky. So you'll see in a minute, it'll get tricky to kind of get all this information in. Uh, the smaller you make it, the more accurate you can get. But you see, if, if you go too far, it's going to select this little area in here. And I don't want that. So if you want to take that out, hold your Alt key. Again, if you want to deselect something like this, hold the Alt key. And you can just go right over the top of it. Okay. Uh, but you just want to try to get as much of him selected as possible. Uh, it is tough, you know, you're going to have to resize your tool to make sure that you get as much as possible in here. Okay, so keep going and, you know, that's it's going to take you a little, a little bit of getting used to with this tool, with the quick selection tool to make sure you get everything. And don't worry if your layer and your selection isn't perfect. I'm not judging you on your perfection, on the perfectness of your selection. I'm not judging you on the, how great you use the pen tool. I just want you to get used to these tools because then you can start getting creative and they help you to learn how to be creative in Photoshop and in Illustrator and in InDesign and later in Dreamweaver and Premiere. So now that you kind of have that same selection, you can cut it out. Um, the same problem I'll have on the other one is this little hazy area right here and under the arm is always going to be selected just because it's inside of everything. Uh, but that's the quick quick selection tool to select this guy. Okay. Once you have that selected, you can go to edit, you can copy, and then again, if we pasted it in here, you'd see it's basically the same thing. Now, the one thing you might notice is you might have something like this where you didn't see that it wasn't selected up there the whole way. So what we want to do is delete that, and then you see right here I didn't have it selected, so... I'd have to use this quick selector to make sure that that's selected. So Command C, and you come back to the jungle path. Command V, Control V, Command Control Paste. Uh, so that's how, that's the simple way to do it. Now, what we want to do now is kind of make this a little bit of an interesting picture. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click the eyeball icon on my football player panel and my Raptor panel. That's gonna turn them off so you cannot see them. Then I'm gonna make sure my jungle layer is selected right here. And I'm gonna use uh, this tool over here. It's the lasso tool. So you can use the lasso, you can use the polygonal lasso. I don't really recommend that because it's gonna be stiff. Or you can use the magnetic lasso. Now there's a, the unique thing about the magnetic lasso is it's going to try to, as you are dragging, catch where the colors and the shapes change uh, to get as much of the information varying up as possible. So if you see right here, I'm going to try to keep it all the way over. But it's going to try to keep up with as much as possible and lay over the top as close to that change of information as possible as, as it can get. Uh, the... The lasso tool itself will do the same thing if you, if, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. 
uh, or actually right now. So the lasso tool itself will do the same thing. You just have to kind of be more steady with your hands. Um, whichever tool you want to use is up to you. I'm not going to be mad if you use one tool over the other. But you should know that both of these tools are very similar in their power and what they do. Okay, so now you see that this is selected over here. Either way, either tool you use, you selected this entire piece. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to Edit and Copy or Control C, Control V. And after I do that, I want to go to Edit and I want to go to Paste Special. And what I want to do is paste it in place. Now, it doesn't look like anything changed, but if you look at your layers, you have a new layer one. And since I copied it, if I turn layer one off, it looks the same. But if I turn the layer one back on and turn jungle off, now you'll see I have this section of jungle copied. Okay, so I want to rename layer one as left jungle. And then I want to take it and I want to move it above the raptor layer. Okay. So then when I turn the Raptor back on, just like this, you're going to see he's kind of hidden back here in behind the, behind the jungle. So I wanted to make him hidden back here and make it look like he's popping out of the jungle uh, just to kind of change the way this image is structured, okay? So he's kind of popping into the jungle back here. Okay, and I'm going to apply that with my transformation. We're good to go. And then I'm going to take and turn my football player back on, and I'm going to get him, and I'm going to transform him too, so Command-T, just so I can resize him a little bit. And then I'm going to go just like this and tilt him to make it look like he's running away. And I'm going to make him stiff arm this raptor. And just like that, you've combined images on top of themselves. So if you have any questions, Feel free, rewind this video, see what you can find, where you missed it. I tried to explain everything as best the detail as I can. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or email uh, your instructor. Uh, what, it should be me. Now, uh, your assignment for the rest of the class is to finish this and turn this in and find two or three images on the Internet that you want to combine and turn those in as well. And it can be anything, as long as it's school.